So we've got some smoke, ladies and gentlemen, on this beautiful Saturday evening. So before we dive into this topic, do me a favor, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Reggie. Stephen A. Smith recently went on Joe Budden's podcast, and he explained why him and Max Kellerin they didn't work out. So what we're going to do is play you guys what he had to say, and then we're going to come back and get into this video. People that say they saw the tension between you and Max developing on air before his departure from the show. Did you hear any of that? I heard some of it. I would tell you full responsibility for that. That's totally my fault. Okay. And the reason why it was my fault because... I didn't like working with him, man. It's just that damn simple. I didn't like it. I thought the show was stale. Um, I thought that we had flatlined when it came to the public at large. And I'm trying to win. I mean, I didn't want to go from number one to number two when Skip left. I, that's not what I wasn't having that. That shit was not going to happen. Did anything in the numbers say that, that you might have been headed that way? No, but... To me, it did. Creatively. It, to me, it did. Not just creatively, but the consistency of the number. Got it. In other words, it wasn't going this way. Yeah. It was just there. It was just there. Like and, 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 and not only that, it's like it's like us being in this room right now. Come on, y'all. Y'all know the difference between something that's stale and something you pumped up for. for you sure. just know. Absolutely. And so, and so that's what I was feeling. And it was like, you know, listen, I had mad respect from him from the standpoint that White dude, highly intelligent, Ivy League educated from Columbia, smart as a whip, can talk his ass off, can talk about anything. And I get all of that. But you weren't an athlete and you weren't a journalist. And the, the absence of the two components left people wondering, why should we listen to you? OK, well, you might have had that figured out on Sports Nation or you might have had that figured out on another show. But on this show, if you looked at the content emanating in the social stratosphere, meaning YouTube and other components that you use to measure one's cachet, uh, uh, Q ratings, focus groups, all of these different things. It was like I was damn near doing the show by myself because we were oceans apart in terms of cachet. Well, how are you oceans apart from me if you sit right across from me five days a week for the whole two hours? Because one of us is resonating and one of us is not in that platform. And so for me, I was like, look, this is what it is. And we had a number of conversations, one-on-one, -on -one, many, many times. I know this audience. I know what they're looking for. I know what they need, et cetera, et cetera. At some point, you're going to do what you need to do or you don't. And if you don't do what you need to do, I'm going to get somebody who will. That's me. And I made no qualms about it. Now, I didn't have the authority to let him go. But you have I, coffee with the person that. How about you know that? I mean? How about that? And so, and so, and so what yeah. I did was I've been very honest and very consistent about it. There's nothing personal. We didn't have, we weren't enemies or anything. Now, I, to be real, we ain't spoke since other than high and by, you know, or if I had to go on the show when they were doing the morning show, I would get interviewed. But there's been no conversations since. And that's fine with me. There's, that's, no, that's no problem because it wasn't like we were boys or anything like that. But at the end of the day, it was all business to me. And it was about, look, man, I'm trying to win. And I don't believe I can win with you. That doesn't mean it's your fault. Mm -hmm. It means we don't do. work. So think. when I went upstairs to management, my exact words were, look, if he's that important to you, give him first take. Steve, I'll leave. Stephen A. Stephen, <laughs> Stephen A. Wait, I'm telling you what I said. I'm only, I'm only giving you what I said. <laughs> old school trick. I'm only giving you what I said. God, two hours, he, was, he went in that office. Two, two, two hours later, I got the call. We're making a change. Yeah, you just said fire. Huh? <laughs> yeah. No, he said he didn't re, say he, fire. He said redistribute. See, we got to learn the corporate way to say yeah. some of that shit. No, no, no. no. The, but it wasn't a firing because remember, well, what happened was he that got his own Ultimately, you got your, you had the radio show and you had your own afternoon show. Mm -hmm. See, where I'll push back on anybody who talked about the career or the firing, 
I'll go back to me in 2009. Stephen A., your, your services were no longer, no, we're not renewing your deed. You're not renewing your deal. Mm -hmm. um, it is not a unilateral decision. And just like that, the next month when my contract expired, first of all, they let me know in April. My last day was May 9th of 2009. My contract was up June 30th. Okay, so you guys just heard what Stephen A. Smith said, right? Now, he took to Twitter earlier today, and he had this to say about Max Kellerman. He said, same question, same answer for damn near two years now. Max and I weren't working in the end. I wanted to win, so I didn't do that duo. Does that mean he isn't smart, talented, and that he's not a good guy? I have nothing against him. I wish him well. We just needed a change. That is all. He said, folks can twist this all they want. I respect the man and wish him no ill will, but my answer has and will always be the same. So then Terrell Owens chimes into this conversation by retweeting what somebody else said. So somebody else posted a clip to Terrell Owens basically saying that Max Kellerman is blacker then Stephen A. Smith and Terrell Owens said facts. So if you guys didn't catch that clip, we're going to play that for you guys right now. You mentioned obviously Max is going to get in here. And like I said, I'm in the streets. Max almost seems blacker than you, Stephen A. <laughs> with 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 what time he with with he's time coming, time you know, with his commentary. Time, 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 with all due respect, my brother. You don't, <laughs> I'm just you, saying, dog. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm just a, saying. I'm gonna check you right now. You don't cross. I'm the line. just saying. Time, time, time. Wait a minute. You don't cross the line. <laughs> First of all, like I said, you, Colin Kaepernick, <laughs> Eric Reed, any of y'all that want to debate me in front of black people and talk about what's best for black people, name the time and place, I'll show up. I don't want to hear, what's the definition of blackness? Is there a definitive definition of blackness? Why are you giving the impression that because I don't march lockstep with every single thing that Colin Kaepernick wants? Okay, excuse me, hold on, wait a minute. I'm not agreeing, wait, I'm, wait a minute. I'm not agreeing with you, everything Tio, that Colin Tio. Kaepernick has I, done. I, I'm not saying that, but you said, but okay. you just sat up there and used an expression more blacker excuse me I'm from hollis queens new york city you ain't the, you ain't the only you ain't the only brother out there that's in the streets i'm in the streets well, every day I get it. and i'm a, a matter of, so let's be very clear and you damn well know that's the truth and so my point to you is this again i'm not going to disrespect you i'm not going to go that route but based on just what you just said this is supposedly stephen a and t.o going at one another did you know that i invited colin kaepernick to give him this platform for the entire two hours i said you can edit the damn show you can have it live we can talk whatever you want to talk the floor is yours i also gave that invitation to eric reed i know people at other networks that has given colin kaepernick that same thing they disagreed with him to some degree are you questioning their blackness too come on man that, no, there's certain things that's like crossing said, the line Dude, that's that. I mean, you're taking it as disrespect. There's no disrespect. There's no disrespect just, to that. No, not a, dude. It's tongue in cheek, but at the same time, like I said, like I said, I'm in the streets. Like I said, I hear and what's going on. And like, as I said, like I said, you don't have to agree. I don't totally agree with some of the things that I, as I te as I texted you the other day. He could have articulated to or, or expressed his. Okay, so you guys just heard that exchange, right? So Stephen A. Smith, he was hot after this, right? So he says, or maybe I'll just dedicate the entire Stephen A. Smith show slash podcast on YouTube this Monday to all the things you tried to do behind the scenes to brothers over the years while claiming someone is more of a brother than others. Let me think about that over the next 24 hours. Hashtag sick of this. Hashtag enough. So Stephen A. Smith, he is still pissed off about Terrell Owens saying Max Kellerman is blacker than him, right? This was years ago, but he hasn't let this go. So Kyrie Irving then chimes in, ladies and gentlemen, and he says, at Stephen A. Smith, can y'all call each other like grown mature men and clear the air without all of the extra social media back and forth? Get what you need off your chest and move on. Hashtag there are more important things to do so Kyrie Irving chimes in 
and he's trying to pretty much bring peace to this whole situation and then Stephen A. Smith says respectfully bro you don't know the whole story I have nothing to say to his sorry pathetic ass but that doesn't mean you're wrong you are right bro I'm man enough to admit that I will stand down hashtag respect so Stephen A. Smith this guy wants smoke with everybody in the world but it's obvious he doesn't want any smoke with Terrell Owens so what I want from you guys is to come into the comments down below and let me know what you think about this whole situation me personally listen Stephen A. Smith is the A side of first take if he thought that the pairing with him and Max Kellerman wasn't working and he wanted to get rid of Max Kellerman I really got no issues with that right so like I said that's all I got man on this topic I thought this was interesting but yes, I will catch you guys on the next one. This was another installment of The Locker Room. Peace.